Hi guys and welcome to episode 3 of the Road to Glory packs. I don't know, maybe you guys can give it the series a name a lot like uh, anyone else. It's, like, it's basically a pack and play. That's basically what this Road to Glory is. And we don't really have an end product. And that's what I'm going to be asking you guys anyway. So... We, in the last episode, did manage to pack, uh, well, managed to uh, get five goals, which did give us five packs. If you missed any of the previous episode, guys, including the rules and stuff, make sure you go back and check it out, because it's going to be a fun world to glory, um, and it's going to involve a lot of input from you as well, so I'm going to be uh, asking a lot. So... The first thing is if you want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes as well, make sure you go and check out G2A.com and uh, use discount code B87 and you do get a bit of a percent off your total order. Um, you can get stocked up on your FIFA points as well, which uh, I know a lot of you are going to be getting hold of for Friday if you in, are in the UK release or even Tuesday, um, which is the North American release. So... We got five packs. Um, I, I did ask on Twitter for a change of the rules as, uh, as well, um, just because I didn't think about what was going to be happening. So, what I asked uh, was how many packs we should get for a championship, which means actually winning the division, and how much for a promotion. So what we did was we kept the promotion the same, uh, which was six packs, and then we added the champ. If you get a championship title, you actually get eight packs. So um, a little bit of a bonus to you lot, and you guys love pack openings. I love getting uh, some decent players in packs, and hopefully we will be able to manage to do it. So at the start of this episode, you are seeing the five packs opening uh, anyway, and we did actually luckily manage to pack a free pack as well, so that actually upped it to six. We got a lot of coins and we did get Vermeulen in there, but if you remember the last two episodes, you will have seen the fact that our team is looking BPL. I don't know why that is, but every, um, every player, we managed to get BPL, all the standout positions, and to get the... Um, the best chemistry we have made it a bpl team and also thank you to the guy who did comment asking why what did he ask he said why did i put booth on in there even though he's on shit chemistry i just thought i'd put him in there and i actually did honestly forget that we did get a bpl goalkeeper so we added him into the team so every game we play is on uh, divisions uh, that that's the aim of it uh, I want to know what you want to be the final. Do you want Division 1 title to be the final of this World of Glory? Hopefully uh, we can get a lot of packs and a lot of decent players in this series before the end anyway. Um, and we are going for promotion as well in this episode. I think it was, I think we needed, uh, I think it was two wins. I think, we just need, I think we need two wins to get uh, the division title, so that's the aim today. Also, guys, you lot have been going absolutely ham on the like button as well. That's very much appreciated. We can continue to do the same and try and smash over 5,000 likes as always, guys. That would be absolutely brilliant. You guys seem to love this series. I actually love loading up my console to play it as well, even though when I actually get into the games, I'm missing simple opportunities like that. I have no idea what the fuck is going on, but... I did see uh, a link to a PSN update, which was the day one update for FIFA 15 when it is released. If you remember FIFA, it always gets an update on day one, um, and it like usually addresses uh, stability issues and stuff like that. But it's actually changed a lot of things in game. One of them being the ability to shoot uh, at pace, and um, the other one, the player position and stuff like that. But my auto switching is an is an issue I'm coming to. As you see, the state of this goal, which this guy did score, he had no shots in the first half. And then obviously he goes and scores. It was obviously going to happen, but thankfully, uh, it, Nepenthes was telling me about the fact you can actually run straight from goal and score. And the only types of goals I'm scoring, guys, and I'm, I don't know if I'm apologetic for it, but it's tramp goals. Tramp goals are the only goals I am scoring in this series. I'm trying to mix it up, trying to score from corners, I'm trying to score from crosses. I'm even trying to score some spectacular goals, and it's not even happening. The only goals I seem to score are tramp goals. And to be honest, it's uh, they're the only goals I'm conceding as well in my uh, when I'm doing other series. Like I tried to cross it there, a brilliant save off the line by the goalkeeper, and later on it did actually pop up with the goal line technology. But we did level it up at 1-1. And uh, then we managed to break on through, and uh, guess what? There's an open player over there, which is Coney, who's there to tap it into an open net. Absolutely great. Um, absolutely great finish, to be honest. But this guy saw his ass, I think. He might have ran out of EA access. It might have just booted him off. He might have reached a time limit. But... He DC'd. Now, the rules for a DC win or a rage quit win is obviously three extra packs. So, we've got two goals in that game plus uh, the rage quit, which I'm going to count as a rage quit because we did get the victory. Um, we do get five packs from this game alone. So, that takes us on to the next game. We're getting promotion regardless, but the next game, and we've still got six remaining, um, is a chance to get the championship title. Get the championship title. That's an extra eight packs in the bank. So... 
with that, we've got five packs off this. We're going to try and score some goals, get a win, and uh, we come up against this team. But there's something about this team you guys need to know. The guy was actually playing as um, a guest. He he had two players, and you will notice on the gamer tag that the uh, the guest actually has the gamer tag uh, with a number one. And my keeper was absolutely shocking. That's something I need to get, but it's going to be hard to get one of them um, high-rated BPL players. But this was one of the toughest games I've played. Thankfully, he was called offside for one goal and um but they, these were tough to break down. If 2v2s um, are going to be a thing, I'm going to struggle like shit against them. They were removed on next gen um, last time, and now they are back after uh, like a, a nine month stint in it with uh, next gen on FIFA 14 and now on FIFA 15. So we struggled to score. He struggled to score. Well, he did score, but unfortunately, he got ruled off for offside. Not unfortunately, but fortunately. Um, but these two were good at defending. I was really getting through. It was quite a scrappy match as well. Um, in the middle, none of us could do anything. Anything, but then an absolute terrible error by me thinking about bringing the keeper out brought him out panicked took him back and they take a 1-0 lead just before half time I was annoyed uh, thinking I had the better of the chances as you see there they had one shot on target and uh, but more possession and uh, I had decent shots but I'm still struggling to score and that's something I need to uh well, I don't even know if I need to, need to adapt to it. And the reason I don't think I need to adapt to it is for the fact that it's all going to be changing when the hard copy does come out. We'll just have to wait and see. But long shots are non-existent for me. Crossing's non-existent. And as you can see, tramping is the only way which seems to get me a shot on target. We did fall very unlucky there with Kone hitting the post. But... We were able to get a bit of luck with the ball bouncing around and pops to Cissé, who does manage to put it in the back of the net, pulling the score to 1-1 on the 56th minute. So that's one extra pack. And the rules have changed, guys. There will be an updated picture of the rules coming up at the end. We did manage to luckily get another goal, which made it 2-1 in the 59th minute. And uh, they just couldn't seem to do anything. They got very unlucky here with a long-range shot, um, which did parry off the keeper. And then he was classed as offside, uh, which I was annoyed about. I was actually screaming, but... The reason I'm not doing a live come, guys, is because I want to be a little bit more informative to you, try and help you a little bit with the game. Um, and when you see me in a live come, I'm usually swearing and raging and stuff. Um, and usually laughing, as you see, with the third goal, which does go in. So three goals um, from this game, plus uh, the fact we do actually win the title as well. So eight packs plus three goals equals 11, plus the rage quit, plus the two goals, that equals 16. Yeah, 16 packs in the next episode, guys. So make sure you do smash the like button for over 5,000 likes. And I will release the video tomorrow. If not, it'll be the day after. And uh, then we can uh, hopefully get a massive jumbo pack opening. And you guys can enjoy it. We did deserve to win that game as well. They didn't really have many chances. But the ones they did were offside anyway. And... Um, that we did win the title as you can see but we're also updating the rules and that is the six packs um for the promotion and eight packs for the division title everything else is staying the same but your input is uh if you want to change the name of it or anything let me know anything i am reading the comments quite heavily at the moment uh, as i'm trying to do it all for you guys so smash that like button subscribe comment until next time see you all later have a very very nice day